dirty and 30, but um, this is a down and dirty and 30, but it's really not that dirty, but just know that uh, that means y'all should do tomorrow, which is hell week. Um, uh, hell week day five, I think is tomorrow. And then we go into hell week all next week. So um, about 30 minutes of work here today. Uh, everything's a little bit shorter, especially this uh, warm up going to be three minutes long. And then we'll get into some work. You're going to need a couple of medium sized weighted objects today. There's not a ton of cardio, um, but, but I, I think there's a lot tomorrow. So just FYI. So we're going to start off on the floor back extension to lap pull down. We're going to start with your hands over your head, push the hips in the floor, bring the elbows down to the side, extend back out and bring the chest down. Your option here, you can work just the lap pull down. You could work something on your back, uh, but you're trying to warm up that lower back. So you can maybe do the T-spine windmills if you needed to be on your back. Then you're gonna come up to the plank, plank walkout. I feel like we've done these a lot in the last week. So you guys should be getting pretty good at them. Walking all the way out, setting the plank, and then walking all the way back up. Third and final exercise, alternate reverse lunge with torso rotation, stepping back into the reverse lunge. We'll rotate in towards that front leg, come up, reset. Make sure you have balance here, getting a nice stretch in not only the hip, but also your obliques. Three minutes of work to start it off, y'all. Here we go, take it to the floor. You've got that back extension to lap pull down and you can get started in three, two, one, let's go. You wanna push those hips into the floor as you lift your chest. your eyes on the ground 30 more seconds here you guys got time for one more and then go ahead and take it up into that high plank and walk yourself back in three, two, one. Plank walkouts now, plank walkouts. Coming up to the top, giving yourself a nice shoulder roll. Trying to keep those legs as straight as you can. All right, so finish up that last rep. And then we're gonna go reverse lunge to torso rotation in three, two, one. Step back. Woo. Find your balance. Got about 30 seconds. Stepping back like you're on railroad tracks, guys, so those feet are apart, not in line with one another. break here. We're going to go right into block number one. You're going to need your weights on this block, but first we're going to start off with two minutes. You're going to see this concept twice today, starting off with two minutes of core, and then we go into the body of the block. Okay. So seven and a half minutes of work. We'll start off with side plank, hip dip. Doesn't really matter what side you start on. 
uh, cause we're going to go right into the other side once we're done. So elbow under the shoulder, drop the hip, drive it up. Keep your eyes forward here, guys. That's going to be a lot better for your spine. We'll spend 20 seconds there. We'll flip it over for the other side. And then we'll spend the last 20 seconds doing toe reaches. Okay. If you need to, you can keep your feet flat on the floor and reach for the ceiling. Then we're going to go right into side plank hip dips again. So it's two minutes of work, just nonstop. All right. Then you'll go into your weighted exercises. Iso hip bridge, chest fly, heels under the hips, dry the hips up, elbow soft. We're opening the chest up as much as we can with a soft elbow. You've got 10 reps there. We'll go for plank pull through next. Start with the weight on the outside of the high plank. You're going to reach under your body, pull it through to the other side. Again, keeping your neck neutral. So eyes are looking right between the hands there. Last exercise, hollow hold, single arm, closed grip, chest press. You've got a hollow hold position with the elbow in. We're going to press up and down. You're going to do five on one side and then five on the other. If you need to, you can keep your feet flat on the floor. All right. So first two minutes, we're working together and then you're on your own. Get yourself ready into that side plank. We got uh, 20 seconds of work here going right into the other side. Y'all ready? Here we go in three, two, one, let's do it. No. <laughs> Seven seconds. Flip it over. Three, two, one. Flip it over, guys. Flip it over. Those abs in. Get ready for that toe reach. In three, two, one, toe reach here, toe reach. Going back into the side plank, friends. In three, two, one, side plank. Set that side plank, eyes forward. Belly button in. Nice job, everybody. We're going to switch sides in three, two, one. Switch sides. You're halfway. Three, two, one. Okay, friends, take it to the toe reach. On the back, legs in the air in three, two, one. You got 20 seconds right here. Last couple, last couple. In three, two, one. One, done. All right, good little core blast there. I went into that iso hip bridge chest fly, 10 reps. That belly button pulled in and your hips high here on this one. On that plank pull through, trying to keep your hips as still as you can. Holding that high plank as you move that weight, make sure you're pulling it under your body. Some 
might say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna fight. I got my hands on your body, so tell me, tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be not it. All right, then we'll go hollow hold, close grip, chest press. Once you're done with that pull through, got belly button pulled in, lower back on the floor. On the hollow hold, guys, if you can, keep your shoulders up off the floor. So it's like a little hollow crunch. Legs are up, shoulders are up, lower back stays down. Once you're done with the chest press, you're back to the chest fly. Job with those slides, team. Tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be not in. Because there ain't nobody love you like I, like I do. Like I do. Nice job, Kristen. Way to keep those hips still. All right, guys, we got 90 seconds to go. We're going to keep on working. Working that upper body and core here. We got 15 seconds, keep going. In three, two, one, rest guys. Take a breather, nice job, nice job. All right, here comes block two. So this is kind of gonna be your cardio, uh, if you will, for the day. It's just under six minutes of work. Uh, we're gonna start with pop jacks. We'll go work for 30 seconds, then we'll take 10 seconds of rest. And we're gonna do three rounds through here. So pop jacks are gonna start. I would start low. So weights in the whole foot here, mostly in the heels, hands to the floor, high plank, come back up, sit up. You can be a little higher if you need to, okay? After 30 seconds of work with just a nice steady tempo, we'll take 10 seconds of rest. Then you're gonna work the fingertips at the back of the head. We're gonna go squat and drive the knee, 
to the opposite elbow. Your option is to limit your range of motion, but try to get a little bit of balance on that one foot, okay? Then your third and final exercise, we'll go running mans, high plank position. We're gonna drive the knees in. You can go as slow or as quickly as possible. If you need an option, you're on your back with a bicycle, a little bit slower tempo rather than super, super speedy. Once you're done with 30 seconds of that, then you'll take 10 seconds of rest. We go through it two more rounds, okay? So super, super speedy. Okay, here we go. Pop jacks for 30 in three, two, one, let's work. Nice job, guys, nice job. Okay. What are we going to do? Three, two, one, rest. Take a rest. Okay, squat to knee to elbow. Now you can speed this up if you want or you can slow it down. Make sure you got a little balance. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Fingertips, but the chest stays up, chest stays up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Quick rest, guys. To the floor. Palms under shoulders. You got running man in three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Three, two, one. Rest. Take a rest, guys. Take a rest. All right. Coming back to pop jacks for 30 seconds in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Back to pop jacks. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Freak when I'm talking to myself, but it's like I was too weak to be so three, two, one. Take a rest. Take a rest. Good job keeping your chest up on this next one, guys. With the squat, make sure you're not pulling forward. Here we go. In three, two, one. Squat knee to elbow. Yes. Halfway. Keep going. Three, two, one. Rest. Running man, second to last time. Get a little bit better than your first round. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, you got one more round, guys. Practice, perfect, perform. Now is your chance. Pop jacks for 30 seconds. Last time in three, two, one, let's go.
10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay. One more time with these squat to knee to elbows. Getting a little better than the first two rounds. In three, two, one. Come on. Halfway. Three, two, one, rest. And your last set, last set of running man here. You can pick up the pace a little bit. Let's do it in three, two, one, let's go. This is it y'all, this is it, come on. You got it, you got it. This is what you came for. Strikes every Last time 10 seconds. Moves. And everybody's her, but she's looking at you. Three, two, one. You're done. You're done. Great work. A little bit of heart rate response on that one, I'm sure. Okay, we're going to go back to uh, similar to block number one. This is actually going to be your last block. It's six minutes long. Maybe we'll add on a seventh minute, but um, the goal is to be done in 30 minutes. Here we go. We're going to start the first two minutes. We are working together as a team. So you'll take your medium weight. You got a seated torso rotation, sitting up tall with the weight on your body. You're moving your body around here, keeping the weight on the chest. Okay. You got 30 seconds there. Put the weight down. We got sprinter sit-ups coming all the way down reaching out for the toe, your option, single leg crunch, bring the shoulders down every time. We're going to go that twice through 30 seconds on each for two rounds. Okay. Then we'll stand it up, keeping those weights. We're going to balance on one foot, shoulders back, bring that knee up as far as you can, palms forward. We got balanced bicep curls. You're going to do five on one leg and then you'll switch and do five on the other. The higher the leg, guys, the more challenging. If you need to, you can keep it down a little bit lower. Then you're going to go hip hinge, reverse grip, low row. Great way to work the biceps. Hinge forward, palms face forward. You're going to squeeze the elbows in the side of the body, bringing those weights in towards your belly button, and you'll work that for 10 total, okay? And you'll work just those last two exercises. Great pump for the biceps until time is called. You'll only have about three and a half, four minutes once we get there, okay? So you're going to start off with your seated torso rotation. Again, we're working together for the first two minutes of the block, and then you're on your own. So stick that weight to your body, and we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Rotate those shoulders. That belly button in. We're going to get rid of that weight. Sprinter sit ups in three, two, one. Let's go. Halfway. Three, two, one. Back to see the torso rotation, guys. So we get that weight back on that chest and let's move those shoulders around here. Weights are going down. Sprinter sit-ups in three, two, one. Here we go. Sprinter sit-up. Hey, hey, 
halfway. Three, two, one, done. Okay, you're now on your own. You're going into that balanced bicep curl. You'll do five on one leg, five on the other, and then reverse grip low row with the palms facing away. A lot of core strength, guys, as you pull that, hold that knee up, keep the shoulders back. Nice job, Sharon. All right, friends, we got about two minutes, two minutes to go here. Really squeeze those shoulder blades on the way back on that low row. Feel that bicep working. Chest up, guys. Chest up on that bicep curl. Nice job, you guys. Keep it going. You're almost there. You're almost there. more reps in three two one you're done that's it little stretch we're out great work today team all right so remember if you uh this is a little short i think in preparation for hell week workout tomorrow but if you want more you could go and grab another workout or you could do um do a little walk, jog, or run outside. Maybe not now. Well, it's actually really nice out right now, but it's still a little dark. Bring in the arm across the body, shoulder down, pull it in, get a nice cross body stretch here. We'll hold this for 20 seconds and then we will switch sides. 
Um, okay, so tomorrow and Sunday, Zoom, the live Zoom is going to be at 9 a.m. I do not think it will be recorded. So if you want to watch it with one of our coaches, it's going to be Coach Sarah this weekend. I'm going to take the weekend off. Um, so Coach Sarah is going to be here this weekend. Go ahead and switch arms. Um, 9 a.m. both days. Tomorrow's Hell Week. Sunday is not. And then we start Hell Week for reals, like Hell Week, Hell Week on Monday. We uh, finish Hell Week on October 31st. In front of Alamo, um, that Halloween workout will be a, a in-person workout. It will not be recorded. Um, so if you guys want in on that in Alamo and you have not replied or didn't get the email, you need to let me know. Bring one arm up, shoulder down, little tricep stretch, getting into that upper back too. Um, and we've got three classes going that morning. They'll be run in a three group format. because we got a lot of people that signed up, um, which is awesome. So great way to spend Halloween morning. Release that elbow, switch sides. And hopefully by Halloween, we'll have your Hell Week t-shirts, but no guarantees there. And then November 1st, uh, we change our clocks back, fall back, which is awesome. Bring those arms up, elbows out. There was some, some meme or something on Facebook was like in March, we had, you know, St. Patrick's Day was on a, I don't remember, the spring forward, all this weird stuff. And it's like, okay, so now we're going, we're going to fall back. Halloween's on a Saturday, which people always love. Um, maybe it'll reset the universe. I don't know. Bring the elbow. It was down. Friday the 13th. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shoulder roll. Take your hands behind your back. Lift up here. Yeah, Friday the 13th and St. Patrick's Day and spring forward. Ugh. And release those arms, shake it off. We'll do a quick quad stretch here and get you guys on your way. So we'll be back here. Uh, I'll be back Monday morning, uh, same time. That will be hell, like really hell week, right? The week of hell um, for day one. And then um, I will post, guys, go ahead and switch legs. I will post because I haven't even looked at the what the themes are. I'll post the themes um, so you can kind of pick pick and choose which days you want to make a point to get to. Um, you don't need to do all seven, six. Um, you know, I pick three or four of them and do them. And then remember, they're all, all going to be recorded. So if you ever want to go back and do it at a later date, you'll be able to do that. So um, release that foot. Take your feet out wide real quick. Come on down. Take a big deep breath in. Bring your arms up overhead and exhale. And round of applause for you guys. You are done. Happy Friday, everybody. Have a great weekend. And I will see y'all. I'll see you guys back here on Monday. But Zoom tomorrow at 9, 9 a.m. tomorrow.